द स्टोरी ऑफ बोधी धर्म द ओनली मैन हु वॉज इक्विवेलन टू गौतम बुद्धा बोधी धर्म वॉज अ द्रविडियन ही वॉज बॉर्न एज अ प्रिंस इन द सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया बट लाइक गौतम बुद्धा ही लेफ्ट हिज किंगडम एंड अटेंड द हाइएस्ट पीक ऑफ एनलाइटनमेंट ही लुकड वियर्ड एंड हिज वे वॉज वेरी रफ He was not at all soft like Gautam Buddha and yet there was nobody who could be of his caliber other than Gautam Buddha himself Bodhi dharma speaks the essence of Buddha he has his own style his own way even Buddha will find it strange because Buddha was soft Bodhi dharma was hard Bodhi dharma is not polished like a diamond he is just from the mine absolutely raw there have been many buddhas in the world but bodhi dharma stands out like everest once bodhi dharma went to china and the emperor of china went to see him and the emperor said my mind is very uneasy very disturbed and you are a great sage i have been waiting for you tell me what i should do to put my mind at peace bodhi dharma said you don't do anything first you bring your mind to me the emperor could not follow what he said what do you mean he asked bodhi dharma said to the emperor come in the morning at 4 o'clock when nobody is there come alone and remember to bring your mind with you the emperor couldn't sleep the whole night many times he cancelled the whole idea this man seems to be mad what does he mean come with your mind don't forget the man was so enchanting so charismatic that he couldn't cancel the appointment as if a magnet was pulling him and so at 4 o'clock in the morning he jumped out of his bed and said whatsoever happens i must go this man may have something his eyes say that he has something looks a little crazy but still i must go and see what can happen so he reached and bodhi dharma was standing with a big stick in his hand he said so you have come where is your mind have you brought it or not the emperor said you talk nonsense when i am here my mind is here and it is not something which i can forget somewhere it is in me bodhi dharma said okay so the first thing is decided that the mind is within you the emperor said okay the mind is within me Bodhi Dharma said now close your eyes and find out where it is and if you can find out where it is immediately indicate to me i will put it at peace and so the emperor closed his eyes tried and tried looked and looked the more he looked the more he became aware that there is no mind mind is an activity it is not something there so you can pinpoint it but the moment he realized that it is not something then the absurdity of his quest became exposed to himself if it is not something nothing can be done about it if it is an activity then don't do the activity that's all if it is like walking don't walk he opened his eyes he bowed down to bodhi dharma and said there is no mind to be found bodhi dharma said then i have put it at peace and whenever you feel that you are uneasy just look within where that uneasiness is look within the emperor went back happily he specifically mentioned to his chief minister that when i die please inscribe on my graveyard that i met a man who appeared weird and mad but there was absolutely nobody as great as that man as pure as that man 
and as wise as that man and his name was bodhi dharma everything is possible in this world my fellows what is necessary is to look within what is necessary is to focus on your inner growth and what is necessary is to live your life by surrendering at the feet of your master